I'm Goose. So does that mean our special guest then, uh, Keith? Is that you going to be Iceman? I feel icy, ice, ice, baby. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we so we just need now a team of. Uh, beat God knows I'm vanilla. <laughs> Does that mean we have to play, Chris? I guess we have to go down to New Jersey. We got to play volleyball against him shirtless. Let's do it. Got it. Boing. 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 You right, to, now I can start reading. You do chat. not want to see me with my shirt off. Right. Believe me. I, I, I committed to the bit. We started it. I followed through on it. Now let's actually ring. <laughs> let's go through. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad uh, Abs and agrees. Back to our nerd selves. Okay, cool. <laughs> He says you could be his wingman anytime. Damn By the way, that footage that you saw uh, in the reflection of my glasses was actually jet pilots. <laughs> <laughs> I I almost put on I the get it, Chris. I I what I was looking for. If I had more time, if things didn't blow up like they normally do before the show starts, I was actually going to try and find the volleyball scene to Top Gun, but just to Kenny Loggins' Danger Zone, and just have that playing <laughs> as the opening live soon. And just confuse people. Just what, <laughs> what did they do? do? I was like, "Well, Keith's on, so just, you know, trying trying to broaden the audience, help everybody out." <laughs> I mean, I don't know about I you, but know I, what that means? But I'm okay. okay. What? I'm okay with Val Kilmer and his shirt off. It's, it, it's Val Kilmer with his shirt off, man. Yeah. Yeah. It, well, that's, it was probably that's very warm there. It, North Carolina <laughs> flight school. I, I can, like, I can okay confirm with North Elizabeth Carolina Taylor with her, very well. their tits out, except it was like, you know, 2001. You'd be like, uh, put them back, Liz, please. <laughs> please. We well, see, you, they were molded during his Batman days, and then it just, he just let, sort of let it go after, it, after he took the suit. That's where those nipples came from. He wasn't that bad in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. No, but c- that was his um, uh, 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 re- ugh, remake. Is not the word. I'm. That's his comeback. Him and Robert Downey Jr. Both. That was like yeah. the comeback movie for both of them. Yeah. <laughs> they were just rebooting their career. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or was it a HD remastering? <laughs> <laughs> just no. By the way, they're HD remastering StarCraft, but I think they're keeping the old graphics. I'm like, what's the fucking point? <laughs> We're going to HD remaster this game and keep the graphics the same. So I can see the pixels in greater detail? <laughs> no, no, they're, they're keeping the, the engine the same. They're upgrading the graphics, though. Like, they're, I, they're not changing it so you can play helpful. with the old game. I, I, God. I, I would like it if they brought it into StarCraft 2. Like, pl- here's here's StarCraft, the game, essentially the mission's the same, mm-hmm. just with in the StarCraft 2 engine. Well, the point that they're having is that they don't want people who own the first StarCraft and don't want to buy this the, the remake, um, they don't want to separate them from people who own the remake. So they can, anyone who owns StarCraft 1 can play with other people who own StarCraft 1. I'm still confused. Do I get a free update if I own StarCraft 1 to the HD side? Dunno. So they're not going to be like, hey, cool Skyrim, bro? Here's Skyrim HD Remix. By the way, if you have it on PC, you have it for free. I, I don't think they're going to, but you're actually going to be able to play with people who do have it still, so you, you won't have to... It's not going to be dead. That's really what it boils down to. i have to grab my copy off the wall. <laughs> still got it. And Brood War. <laughs> Beat them both. Beat the Nintendo 64 version of StarCraft 2. What up? That's There's a scare for you. You had to use the top triangle button to move units around. God. And you had to press and hold it to select a bunch of it with the joystick. We all know how much a shit show that N64 controller was. The three-handed controller. Three-handed yeah, controller playing an that, RTS. I thought that that controller was the fucking bomb! <laughs> bitches! <laughs> when it came out. Well, and also it was the first controller I ever used because that was my first home console. So, actually, I have two USB N64 controllers in the trunk that I believe is where Keith's webcam is. Yay! 
which is why you can't see me. But what you can see is uh, me on the left and my husband on the right, because because we're so cool. No, Not we are so. Me. That's it's true. It's true. The, the, don't let the awkward delivery of that uh, <laughs> sound sarcastic. He's very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> see, Will was the only one who didn't get the sunglass memo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. Even Keith's husband got the sunglass memo. <laughs> it's true. Uh, by the way, we have uh, breaking news. Uh, Kim is in the chat. Kim, our patron saint of Tick Whiffy, is in the chat. Good evening. Hello. 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 Hello, Kim. So, yeah, so on tonight's show, <laughs> we got a couple of bits of news, what we've been playing, you know, shout outs, you know, good stuff, and a bit more ranting. So yeah, so might as well get on with it, get on with the main bit of the show. Uh, two bits of news, and well, that I found. I don't know whether you you guys have found any, but uh, Xbox Xbox One are very soon now going to be doing the gift a friend option for for games like Steam are doing. Uh, they didn't say they didn't say how soon, but when when uh, Mike Yabara was asked um, how soon, he went, "It's not far away." So the ability of getting there. So if you know you have friends who you want to play games with, but they they just don't have the game, and you're feeling a bit flush, you know, you think, you know, no, I want them to play me so much that I'll buy the game for them. So now soon you can do that on the Xbox. Or you could have uh, entered in a sweepstakes for the entire last year of Tig Whippies to get Halo Five. <laughs> took us yeah, about I a, guess... it took us a year, just about a year to get rid of that game. <laughs> Oh my! It pretty much was. You bitches could have just given it to me. <laughs> you never asked. Well, no, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> we were literally saying, "Does anybody in chat want this?" Say yes, and it's yours. We don't care where you live. We will mail it to you. <laughs> and nobody would say it for 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 a year. And then finally, somebody said, "Oh, was it Terrace?" Yeah, Taris. Yeah. Taris like, oh, I'll take it. And then it was like, fine, it's yours. Here, take it. <laughs> I can take it, please. Like, God damn. <laughs> Sorry, I have to give you your address. Don't, don't change your mind. It's yours now. Because <laughs> look, now. look now, we're in pants. <laughs> yeah, we all have pants. Well, I, Will is confirmed pants. I have also confirmed pants. Chris, Chris, we all know, is just waist up all the time. We're, we're not sure. I if don't actually a... have legs. Yeah, I am actually wearing pants. Uh, well, that's a lie. I'm wearing shorts. That's 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 feasible. You're wearing clothing over your undergarments. This this qualifies. The lower half pants. of me is a, yeah. a series of cables and tubes that connect into a greater hive mind creature. But we're not going to talk about that too much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he is Skynet. I, I I was gonna go with uh, the Omnissiah from Mar of Mars. I am the Exigatrix. <clears throat> I lead House Ordos. And we will have the spice. Okay. <gasps> Exigatrix. The spice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I just flashed that back to banking. Spice so is the life. You, you're the head of an estate? <laughs> <laughs> A female version of an estate? <laughs> sorry, what, I came what, from work. What, what, Fla flew what, in. I don't know. What just happened? That's our conversation killer of our time, number 34. Oh. <laughs> Never speak about Dune ever again. <laughs> <laughs> he was what's, your Dune favorite, what's your favorite version of Dune? David Lynch or the TV version? I like the TV version a lot better than the David Lynch version because he was on crack cocaine when he made that film. My first exposure to Dune was um, Dune 2000. The, the RTS? The RTS, yeah. Wow. And uh, I was stinging it was my is. first. Yeah, that's, that's the David Lynch one. David Lynch, yeah. It's like watching huge worms and then riding it. <laughs> that no, sounds... Wait, wait. Are you talking about the one with or... Uh, 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 was... There were two different releases of that film. Um, one of them was on television that was directed by quote-unquote David Smithy. 
uh, which would have been the director's release, except that um, they didn't have any of the special effect blue eye things going on in it. And um, so not really sure what you're talking about. There's also the TV miniseries that Sci-Fi did. Yeah, I love that one. Actually, I have it on DVD. I have that. I like that one a lot, but that doesn't have any, anything to do with uh, with David Lynch. No. Thank God. I I have both. I actually have the uh, the original David Lynch one, the director's cut. And we're talking like not director's cut made for TV mo- version. The director's cut, director's cut, which is like three hours Just, long. Yeah, I have that too. It cu- I have it in the. Um, in the uh, metal, yep, same one. Thing. Holographic yeah. front case. Yeah, I have that too. That's, see, that movie was ahead of its time, I think, just because number one, Dune the source material was ahead of its time. Uh, yeah. But also just the fact that like the orchestra, I think the music accompaniment is amazing. The amount of stars that they had in that movie too was just like, besides from Sting, who made his only acting debut in that movie. It didn't even like. Was that his debut? Because he he no, I don't think so. Because he acted in um, some other small films earlier than that. I think his major motion picture debut. Major motion picture debut. Yes. If we call David Lynch's doing a major major motion picture. Um, <laughs> exactly. But they also had. Um, I mean, it's a maybe motion picture. You know, Amanda Pat- Wiss or whatever her name was. Um, the little she, the little tiny girl. Uh, she was like six years old at the time, and then she grew up, and um, she's even been on Supernatural after that. Uh, let's not forget Patrick Stewart was in it. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then I forget the name of the other guy. He was uh, one of the Atreides advisors. I'm I'm currently going on IMDb to find his name, but he basically yes, plays. Please do. Every Russian guy ever in pretty much any movie. <laughs> right. Um, also, don't forget. Oh, um, um, Reese Davis, something. The the actor who played Chucky. No, no, it's a. Uh, no, he's it's it's uh he's German. He's, it's Jürgen Pranchow. He's probably best known for. Oh, I think, das Boot. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just take that straight away from you? I think I was going to go with... Uh, I thought he was in Dr- Judge Dredd, but I could have been wrong. No, He's yes, but in internationally, uh, Das Boot. Um, B-O-O-T, pronounced in German, Boat. Das Boot. Yeah, Das Boot. Jürgen Prochnow. Yeah, Jürgen Prochnow, thank you. Uh, he, uh, he was in Judge Dredd, too. And Wing Commander. Yeah. So, very, so there's, there's your um... video game tie-in to make it relevant. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't wasn't uh, Patrick Stewart playing Gurney? Yes, he was playing Gurney Halleck. Okay. Oh, who? Uh, I'm drawing a blank at the professor's name that uh, that Paul studies under, but I think he would have made a much better uh, professor instead. Uh, I'm I'm looking at all the character names right now. Uh, I don't know if they showed him up in the movie at all. They did yeah. show the professor because he, he's a major character. He's the guy who uh, murders <laughs> murders his dad, Duke Leto. And Kenneth McMillan. <laughs> Um, who played uh, uh, not Atreides? Ugh, help me out here. Baron Harkonnen. Harkonnen, thank you. He was brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, was. Kenneth McMillan. And he died not long after they made that, um, that film. Very sad. But he was genius and, uh, in that role. Freaking Max von Sinja was in it. Yeah, he was in The Exorcist. He yeah. played the old um, Max von Sydow. Um, You might remember him from um, Episode 7 of Star Wars. In the very first yeah. scene, um, he's the old guy that gives the information to... Um, What's his face? Who runs away? And you know, the, help me out here, guys. We got, He's the we one got who gives up three other nerds. Himself. Please help me. <laughs> Doctor Yui is, by the way, was the name of the doctor you were thinking of. Doctor Yui, yeah, who's yeah. played by Dean Stockwell, who is yeah. uh, in Quantum, Quantum Leap. Leap. Yes, that 
uh, Max von Sydow um, has been in a billion movies, including um, some black and white ones that were made by um, this. Uh, okay, now I'm. I'm. Uh, nobody knows who I'm talking about, so it's not going to matter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's been acting like his entire life, and uh, he was in The Exorcist playing the old priest. Um, but he played that in 1973 when he was way, way, way younger than the character was. And all of that make all his age was all makeup. Now he finally kind of is the same age that the character in 1973 that he played was, which is why now he doesn't need so much makeup, but, um, uh, yeah, he played the, um, the old guy in the tent in um, episode seven who gives the information to Isaac. I don't remember his name. I'm trying to remember his actor name. We just spoke about it. Who runs off and then puts it in BB eight and BB eight runs away with it. Oh, I, yeah, no, I can't remember. Yes. That's yep. I said that before. <laughs> yeah. But you didn't say it with I gusto like me because I was too busy talking. <laughs> you see, I don't listen as well as I speak. I'm so sorry. Also, Sting That's was okay. a voice in Captain Planet. That's super important. That that is and very, Sting, very important. Totally. And Sting was in Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Yes. And but he was in something called uh, treacle something help me out here um before he was in dune you're gonna make me I pull it up he was actually called again. treacle look on imdb i have it I i'm sure he's in a vampire movie as well uh, it wasn't mac uh, max von Seidel it in, wasn't in treacle. flash gordon he was on radio yeah, was. on quadrophenia yes, was. this is, this is played, he was an uh, actor uh, the evil brimstone and treacle brimstone and treacle thank you he was martin taylor thank you for that uh, and it was uh in 19 in 1982 where doom was in 1984 yeah so when we were all sure, much I... younger <laughs> <laughs> well yeah i sure. was I, the uh, rest of you weren't born you Lovely people. <laughs> so I beg your pardon. <laughs> it's okay. You could have said fuckwits. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to say that either. Apparently, he was also but in a I, movie called. I, I, I like that you thought that I would say that word. <laughs> he was in the movie The Bride and he played Dr. Von Frankenstein. Oh, he sure did. Yeah, that's true. So, Dune was not his first film. But, his but first he major should never have been an actor anyway. He was just a terrible actor. Terrible, terrible, terrible actor. I still like his version of Fade Right for it. I think, like, if I was imagined a coked out, insane, like, assassin killer, that that's pretty much Sting. And he wore. I will the... kill him! Well, he did wear the shit out of that leather codpiece. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You sound more like me than I do. <laughs> I can appreciate art. <laughs> and cod pieces. Apparently. Uh, what else would even... you call that like leather thing that they had that like came out beyond his hips that was just like covering the bikini just line? The crotch. <laughs> just, it's, it's a cod um, piece. It's it's protecting a handle. The, the, a handle? I would call that a handle. Okay. And I don't <laughs> I'm gonna stop there. I was just saying you're rubbing off on it. You know, if you put your <laughs> left hand on his left hip and that handle, and your right hand on his right handle, and then you pull it toward your face. <laughs> you know what? Try that with your girlfriend. 
And I, I, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, she's not watching, so this is <laughs> fine. Uh, we will follow on, on the. Uh, this will be on the uh, the Pornhub version of the stream live stream later on. <laughs> when we get to a thousand subscribers, we will do a Pornhub stream. This NSW. I swear to God, and it's just going to be me and Chris. Oh, Chris, I haven't yeah, showed them the fan art yet. You haven't shown everyone the fan art. No, I haven't. Should I show them now? You should show yes. this. Show oh, them oh God. Oh, We're God. discussing card pieces. Oh, yes. This this is amazing. <laughs> it really is. It's really well done. It is. It's oh. still hard to tell which one of us is which, though. I, I, I'm the one on the left because yeah, of the you're mole. On the left. I, I am assuming you are because of the mole, but the facial hair is what really boils it out because mine is just denser. Like in general, no idea what's happening. Oh, you just this have, is this. Uh, watch the Twitch and you'll find you'll soon see. I, I like how like no, I, Will I, is just I have Twitch up as well. Uh, Will is just, I got to show you because I have Hergelman's old like, computer, wow. so I can actually do more than one thing at once. Yeah, no, this is this is this is it. We have fan art. We have slash fiction fan <laughs> art for this podcast or yes! just in general. Just for me and James, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a very nice. I'm also not sword sure what we're wearing. Like, there. It looks like medieval armor. We are wearing medieval good. armor, except okay. for you have your headphones. <laughs> yeah, that's, but see, that's what I think. I think I think you're in medieval, but I'm in sci-fi. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I approve. I'm good with that. So we have the cover to the slash fiction fanfic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's there. It it exists. <laughs> that's gonna be the Pornhub version, isn't it? That's gonna yeah. be the Pornhub no. fanfic one. You yeah, know that's... what? I am just really, really <laughs> happy that somebody was involved enough and liked. You know the whole podcast enough to. Oh, we actually had it. It was commissioned. Take their time and make that. Somebody made money off of that picture, <laughs> <laughs> which makes me even happier that Tigby ah. slash fiction is also supporting art. <laughs> exactly. So there you go, Tigby's giving back to the community <laughs> by giving you that. <laughs> You're welcome, community. You're welcome. <laughs> As Kim says, what the hell? <laughs> that's that 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 I meant you know, so that's that's Will's reaction. Uh <laughs> me and Chris's reaction. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> me and Christian's reaction are obviously just like this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Pretty much, yeah. Because it's it's amazing. And, and then a little bit of bafflement because it took us a little while to figure out who was who at it, first. There was a bit of the debate. We had to work it out. Um, by the way, uh, this is like, uh, this is where all of this is spawned from. I, I found the image and I'm just going to resize it from back in here. If anybody remembers the Lucky Mucky Ducky stream. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So it's from the, from the top of the basement with Sneaky Shotgun and Sean Daly. <laughs> 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 this... I forgot about Sean <laughs> Remember that? I do. <laughs> this That's was awesome. th this was given to the artist as inspiration to draw that picture. <laughs> <laughs> so technically, we have two pieces of slash fiction art for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's, it's should I be a little weirded out that the, the, there's two that like this is the majority of the fan art that is related no, to absolutely not. <laughs> you should That's, be I like mean, excited, is, feel, like realistically. Here's the thing: people think you're fuckable, <laughs> and that's always good. <laughs> well, people. Well, I guess it, it was a ten, it was a ten show bit where Chris was in my locked in my basement, so I think people got ideas. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. A little bit. We we didn't help the we didn't help it too much. <laughs> yeah, because oh, you guys man, didn't need fine. the Fifty Shades of Grey board game. <laughs> oh yeah, no. That that. <laughs> in less than two weeks. In less than two weeks, I will see this. Picks or it didn't oh, happen. God. Do you know what the picture I want? Full report. 
I have no excuse now for not pick not yeah, getting no. any picks. This is the picture I want. I want the Fifty Shades of Grey board game with the pants draped lightly across them, the top of it. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> tweet Lucy that one. Tweet Lucy. <laughs> you're asking me to tweet something. I have no idea what this thing you're talking about. My my version of tweeting is, well, I need this set on the Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Make it happen. <laughs> See, my, whereas my version is, um, uh, have, have we got the uh, the podcast up yet? No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and my answer is, coming up? no. <laughs> soon. <When> soon? <laughs> it exists, so, Scherzen. It exists. Chris? The Fifty Shades of Grey board game exists. It's on Amazon. <laughs> it has an expansion, too, called The Red Room or The Velvet Room. Uh, I think it's the episode room. fifty. Episode fifty. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it says it sounds awesome, but I'm single and lonely, so no one will play with me. Well, I, I would play with you, Sirzen. I would play that. Game will with has you. no It'd excuse be a not to play experience. it. Horrifying experience. You may walk away uh, mentally scarred and afraid to ever come back to the podcast, but I would play with you. I mean, if you immediately were okay <laughs> for, like, that. the last ten minutes that just showed up, maybe you'd be alright playing the game with us. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the goal. A hundred subscribers. A hundred subscribers, and we will play the Fifty Shades of Grey board game on this show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll need Lucy to... My God. We'll need Lucy for we'll that. We'll get Lucy back like, on, yes. You she... look like you are actually in the the yeah, yeah. oh you know that would have been funnier if I'd actually had a word for it the airplane oh. you actually look like you're in the airplane for that movie with the people and the the um, uh, top 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 gun top gun top gun, top gun. That thank one? you. <laughs> yeah, Susan. Uh, I, I, I can't think anymore. We've we've all had those uh, had those nights. I I have had uh, a a drinking night where I started drinking at the University of Connecticut in stores, uh, Connecticut on a Thursday. On Sunday, I woke up in Boston, Massachusetts, on two random people's sofa that I didn't even know, and it was a couple. <laughs> And I was fully clothed, had my wallet and all my money, and they knew me by name. They said, hi, James, how's it going? I'm like, good. They mandy me pancakes. And I ate them and then left. And don't remember Thursday to Sunday morning. <laughs> did nothing. Don't remember. God. Now, that was not just liquor. It was not just liquor. Oh, it was liquor. Only it was liquor? far too much. <laughs> It was just. How were you not dead by the end of a Sunday? Uh, I I I am an uh, I am an Atkinson. We have amazing livers. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know the meaning of drunk. I I, I am apparently. <laughs> and then I called up my buddy. He's just like I'm like, dude, I'm an Irish look guy. I'm I'm, I'm in Boston. To. He's like, what are you doing in Boston? I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you want to go drinking? I'm like, sure. <laughs> Ooh, send this me was... that bottle along with my with my <laughs> webcam, please. Th this was two <laughs> drinking events. Oh, Captain Morgan's. Captain Morgan's is awesome when you mix it with something. You don't I, drink I it don't, by itself. I don't it just tastes kind of vanilla. -y. These two, these two are two drinking events. Everything that's gone, fresh bottles, two drinking events. So. I when when he says he can drink himself blackout drunk for a few days, I know that feeling <laughs> minus the blackout. I have, I have, I have a rum liver from being Portuguese. I have a uh, a little bit of a whiskey liver for being Irish. I have, Woo! I have a German liver. Uh, I can drink for days. <laughs> I have. I don't remember the end, the end of it, but I have. It, it was literally like the South Park. Just like, step one, start drinking. Step two, step three, have pancakes oh. with a nice couple in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> That's just... And I got I'll home. Have to tell you, Keith, I'll have to tell you my first drinking story. Oh, please. It's, I have it's, plenty it's... of drinking stories. 
I know mine. Uh... <laughs> mine involves uh, the B fifty twos and um, nineteen eighty. Like the band, the B fifty twos. Yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> no. Because there's the drink, the B fifty two as well. Being bombed from the stratosphere by a uh, B fifty two. Yeah. Yeah. Rock lobster. <laughs> down, down. Um, my, my my drinking story, my my first drinking story. Um, it's not so much about what happened with the drinking itself. It was just the sheer level of drinking and the the vast amount of panic my friends had, um, over over me drinking. And uh, it it was fairly mundane. We went out to a bar. Um, and then we went back and we played some video games in the computer labs. How college. old were you? Keeping it relevant. Uh, it was twenty two. Oh, um, yeah. Pussy. I didn't go drinking my 21st. Um, first drink I ever had, was, I was a lot younger. <laughs> I was a lot younger, but I also didn't go drinking, per se. It was just like, this is what alcohol tastes like, so now you know what it tastes like. And then you're to like, avoid it. right. I was just like, eh, it's whatever. Um, so the night went as follows. We went out, we we went to, uh, we went to our, our little bar, and... Uh, got myself a an apple whiskey, and it was about yay much. Holy moly! Same, same size. Downed that. Um, still fine. Uh, tackled a four horseman shot, and then went back. And on the way back, I was like, guys, I you know, I could go for some more. I could go for some more. I'm I'm feeling a little bit of buzz, a little tiny bit. Um, and they were like, oh, all right, okay. So I looked at my buddy Eric and I go, Eric, you know, I think. You got some strong stuff, right? He's like, yeah, I got, I got some stuff. All right, so we go back, and this is this is the the horrifying the horrifying amount. Um, Good is uh, <laughs> I had about yay much of vodka, just straight vodka, and then yay much of one fifty one. One fifty one. Somebody bought me a shot of that one time at my birthday. <laughs> They were like, "Here's a shot of 151," and I took it and ran to the garbage and threw it up immediately. Uh, I downed it, I downed it, the end it, of his bottle, about like yay much of it. Oh shit, man! And I was like, "Yeah, no, this is this is all right." You're I'm actually not... lucky to be alive. <laughs> that that's what everyone kept saying. They're just like, "How how are you alive right now?" I was like, I've, "Honestly." I feel fine, like because my liver is brand <laughs> new and I haven't <laughs> fucked it up yet. <laughs> Seriously, um, but I'm well on my way. Uh, so, so, so we went, we went, and we played some games and stuff. And I mean, obviously, when you drink, you get to use the bathroom all the time. So, I'm, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Um, I'm also, I'm a very, I'm a very talkative drunk. Uh, I think you guys have seen me on my inebriated streams, and I, I've been drunk here before as well. I'm very talkative. Um, so at one point. I, uh, the bathroom was taken on the upstairs level, which, where the game, everything was going on. So I went downstairs, uh, and I got distracted by my friend Breeze, who has been on the show before. <laughs> uh, he was working on his game, Project Regis. Project Regis? Project Aegis. Uh, Project Regis is our, our our joke thing. It's uh, pretty much the same thing, except it's just Regis filled in over and over yeah, again. Yeah, exactly. Um, I got that immediately, actually. <laughs> um, and I just started talking it. to him. I just started talking to him and and everyone else there for a, you know about an hour and I went back upstairs and I was like, we th we thought you we thought you died we thought you <laughs> left we thought you were just like in the bathroom just puking and I was like no no I guess did we win I left mid game I don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's awesome. it was like a lot of stupid. Reminds me of how I got my drinking nickname, bread. Uh, I was at a college frat party in uh, in Boston. Uh, a lot of my a lot of my drinking stories happen in Boston. I got I've been thrown out of Cheers, uh, so <laughs> forcefully. <laughs> but oh needless, my! Needless to say, uh, we we were uh, there was a night of heavy drinking. Uh, we were pretty much intoxicated before the party started. So uh, I went upstairs to use the only bathroom in the frat house, uh, which was being used. So it's the middle of downtown Boston. So I walk outside to pee in the lawn. And I'm with my beer in my hand, music playing, and the cops are slowly patrolling by. And then there I am, this fucking idiot, in the front of the lawn waving at them as they go by, just 
taking a piss and drinking a beer <laughs> on the front lawn. Not even, didn't even decide to get behind a tree. Just, just, hey! Right out there, turn around <laughs> hey. go, here's my penis. There it is. And I walked in, <laughs> and, and I just remember thinking to myself, boy, you're fucked up. You need to start soaking up the alcohol in your stomach. And then other brain went, but James, what is there to have around here that can soak up alcohol? Lo and behold, the ki- the entrance to the house is in the kitchen. There, sitting in all of its glory, is Wonder Bread. Just a, just a package of Wonder Bread. So I proceeded to pick up this full loaf of Wonder Bread, go back downstairs to the party, which has about, you know, 80 people or so, and walk around just eating Wonder Bread. The entire time, just just chopping it down. Hey, what's up? Drinking beer, eat Wonder Bread. <laughs> and people are just like, Is that guy fucking eating bread? So good. Oh yeah, I just remember waking up the next day, hungover as all hell, with one of the guys going, "Yo, man, I was gonna have breakfast, but you eat my fucking bread." <laughs> <laughs> and like having to go out and buy this guy like hungover is all hell like like puke your brains out hungover because somebody woke you up two hours too early and i'm in this shop. oh my god and so it's like and like thing is too because he's pissed because he had to he was like the one guy who wasn't working so it's four in the morning i'm puke out drunk like hungover <laughs> And he's making me go with him to the 24-hour supermarket to buy bread. And I'm sitting there in line in between two transvestite hookers and leopard print screening. I'm not making this up. <laughs> and they're looking at me going, you having a rough night, honey? And I'm like, you have no idea right now. <laughs> Your job would make me feel a lot better. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's how I got my drinking nickname. Bread. Oh my god. Uh, drunk drunk story I would have, because I've got to have one as well, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna be in the in crowd. Um the it, same it, I thank you for the story. bit. Before before we continue, yeah. well um I and I do want you to continue, <laughs> but um we're not gonna talk about video games or anything else. We yeah, will. Oh, oh, we will be getting back to that. Don't worry. Okay, okay, okay. This is the news. <laughs> we don't okay. have news, so this is the news. <laughs> I know, I know, I love you, I know. So, yeah, so my, my, I told a story a while back when Lucy was on about a mate of mine going into a pub and pointing at people going, you've been masturbating, and you've been masturbating, you've been masturbating. Now, he went to this pub from the party that he was throwing. It was like a barbecue and normal drinking. So while he was buddy masturbates the pub, all the time. What is he? <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't doesn't. You don't normally go and point at people in the, into a pub that's notoriously rough, especially in pub, England, violence and stuff, and just point at random people <laughs> saying. <laughs> but, so yes, yeah, so while he was doing fight. that, <laughs> while he was doing that, uh, myself and a couple of other people were still in his house. And... Wait, wait, hold on, stop! I'm stop. I'm sorry, I have to stop you for a second. Context is needed. Um. Yes, because James just said, well, this is England. Because I was like, I was like, people don't just go, you've been masturbating, you've been masturbating, you've been masturbating. It's it's like, it's almost like Oprah. And you've been masturbating. I don't but know why. But James was like, James was like, well, it's England. <laughs> like, my what? my response wasn't to the masturbating. It's like when people just don't go into the pub and say that, and I'm just like to pick a fight. I'm like, yeah, it's England. They're all so polite there that nobody goes there and starts yelling shit. I, I um, much, if you go to a bar, you motherfuckers you, have been filleting somebody. I know. Say like in New okay. York, it's not a big deal. You go to a bar and somebody says you've been masturbating. You probably just like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I have like three times today, but not in here. <laughs> Anyway, go ahead. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, well, it's just when he, he when he said that, I was like, "What?" <laughs> so we were left at his, at his house, and you know, we had some like spare burnt sausages that you know, were just left there, and so me and a couple of drunken people just started putting them around his house in various <laughs> places, like in the toilet, underneath a st- underneath an ornament dog, in his mum's pants drawer. 
Uh, and also on the travels, uh, one of my friends found his porn collection underneath his bed, which we then decided to try start watching. And we couldn't get his video to player to work, so I called him on his phone while he was out to ask him how he's getting his video working to watch his porn collection. <laughs> And you're still alive. That's yes. really the most important thing. <laughs> Obviously, the, the survival was... gene is strong in all of us because we're all here. <laughs> it took his mum weeks to really find the sausage that was in the back drawer as well. <laughs> I don't know which word is disturbing. Smell. What is that smell? <laughs> I don't understand where that smell is coming from. I, I don't know what's more disturbing. The fact that you put the sausage in the pan store and that it took her weeks to find it. How often does she go into the pan store to actually take pants out if it took I weeks? I think the person who put it in there did it well. I would make like other references, but I can't because we have to keep this show at least PG-13. <laughs> About yeah, sausages no. and pan stores. Just, just think, think amongst, think amongst yourselves. Think amongst yeah, yourselves. I think this I is probably the very best episode of this show that's ever been done. <laughs> oh, we haven't even done finished episode it yet. fifty. Was pretty we amazing. Started it. Episode fifty was really fucking strong. 50, even... Like fifty was a three-hour masterpiece. About it yet. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Okay. Coming soon to iTunes. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Probably. Let's, let's see. What is it? Coming is eventually. It, what is it? I would say Tuesday in August. Sometime. I would dare say Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what you shouldn't do, Roger. I'm a chunk of my own <laughs> uvula. You know what you shouldn't do, Roger? And that's driving. But you know what you can do driving? Gran Turismo Sports. There you go, Will. Bring it back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the other I have is Gran Turismo Sports uh, has a release date now. And they're saying it's the final one. That This is the one that's going to be on. And it's October 18th. For your PS4s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Finally. But will they keep it this time? No idea. <laughs> I don't... I... I look at most what video you games exclusively yeah. on PS4. Yes, because Gran Turismo is the uh, PS4 exclusive. Right. Apparently, we decided it, the second Will decided to start talking about video games, it starts buffering. It buffers. It buffers. Oh. <laughs> well, it buffers um, with him. I'm, mine is still going. Yeah, mine is still I'm going fine too. See, nice little segue to bring it back, though. <laughs> I was, um, trying to, I was trying to work all that. It's like, how do I get from drinking to this? Bingo. Um, I think Gran Turismo um, would be idiotic um, stuck on PS4 for me. Uh, now that I have this fantastic thank you. Shh. <laughs> um, PC. I don't know why anybody would want to um, trap anything away from PC. I don't know why they do that. I mean, I kind of do, but it's only to sell um, their own hardware. Apart from that, um, the software makers, I don't know why <sighs> now that I'm in this sort of larger... <clears throat> um, ecosystem with a PC and a PS4. I and I just don't <clears throat> understand why anybody that makes software would do that. Um, just keep their work on only one specific um, way to play it. I. I I don't know. Well, it's, I say it's um it's Sony's first person stu uh, first party studio, isn't it? That's Polyphony Digital. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's true. So you but you could conceivably play it on PC via PS now because you're able to stream PS4 games on your PC via that. Oh, 
Well, um, do you know what? That's how stupid I am. I didn't realize that I could do that. I didn't know it either. I didn't know that I could do that. Fairly recently. Fairly recently they've started doing that. But yeah, that's that's a possibility. Well, that's why, recently. I haven't been on my PS4 for um, a while. Um, I've, I've only actually been on my PS4 to play video games, um, specific multiplayer video games with my, um, great nephews, um, who live in the Carolinas. So, and what I will say is that, that, you know, that's great. You know, they can go and and buy these little boxes and we can all play video games together. But kind of apart from that, I'm not really sure what. I think that we're coming to a place in, in gaming hardware and software where um, everybody needs to realize that the... Um, the hardware is becoming so simple to sort of recreate in a way with PC and, and we're, we're really kind of losing the whole need for these different machines. Um, we used to have to have them, <clears throat> But now I don't think that we do. And um, and I think that uh, that's something that we should be sort of discussing in a way. I think until businesses actually realize they can make money, more, probably more money by doing that and, you know, having this sort of in, in multi-platform software properly rather than competing and constantly competing and trying to have a war as such. Yes. Then we'll still have first party, first party studios and we will just have exclusives on there because they all want people to spend their money on them and them only. Right. I kind of think that where, where we're going is that we're going, going to end up with um, people who want to play video games have pc that plays video games and um the actual whole console thing is going to die um i really think that um the 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 future (laughs) this is ridiculous but the future of of video gaming is going to be about um what controller do you have? I, I see. See, my, I, I don't think it will happen, especially in my have. lifetime. I'm I'm really surprised that I'm saying this as well, but it just seems like that is where everything is kind of moving. Now that I own the PC, the gaming PC, and um, have the PS4. Um, I just really, I really do think that it's all going to come to a head where it, it's sort of like television or, um, eh, uh, Netflix or, you know, where everything gets put in one pot and then you can choose to play it or not. And there were all there. I mean, it's good. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to end up with here's a machine that plays games and here are the games. Period. I think that's what's going to happen. I honestly do. See, I, see, I want to try and agree with, with you on that one, but I say I don't think it would, if it would happen, I don't think it's going to happen in my lifetime. Yeah, I think uh, what, what potentially if it does, then you know it's going to be down way, way down the road. But 
with with things like license agreements and working with different companies and they want say they wanted money themselves rather than giving it to you know because sony doesn't want to do cross play it seems at the moment yeah that would change that could change down the road but while there's money i'm not sure that, made, i'm not sure that what they want is gonna make a difference it's not sustainable um yeah it's going to kill them uh if there's something that's going to kill <laughs> sony it's going to be their lack of cross play it's going to be that yeah, um, and Nintendo certainly. Nintendo certainly. Well, they're doing crossplay now. That's the thing. Yeah, Nintendo. Nintendo's found that thing. They're they're allowing more third party. They're opening up um, major IPs to other platforms, um, I, and I see them yes dropping their own platform down to just the handhelds because they dominate handheld. The the DS and the the um, the three DS and and all of their Handheld things have been the, the major DS. highlight of their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are stopping production of the new 3DS. They've, they've stopped it. They stopped production of that one. Yeah, so, I but know. it's like, but yeah, it's. I mean, you, you do have sort of some streaming services already for gamers. Games for things like EA Access and Game Pass on Microsoft and PS Now, but in one hub. With licenses that were already for some games, like Uncharted, I, I can't the say The licenses yet. can die. Yeah. Nobody the cares about take licenses. Away. The games <laughs> get taken off, and then you can't get them. PT. Yeah, that PT doesn't matter. PT is a prime example. Here's the thing, though, is that even if they pull the licenses, what the, what the devs can do is if they're not making enough money off the console that they need, they're going to go to where they need to make the money. They're going to go be like, all right, hey, we're the guys who made this. We can announce that. They, there's no limitation to how much they can say they made a game. Um, and then they can go and do whatever they want. Exactly. Because also like Alan Wake, for example, has now been pulled from sale completely. Oh, that's uh, because, because, the music. because the music, yeah, the music right. license ran out. But and... you have to realize that we're talking about things that are happening right now. Um, if you're looking to the future of what is going to come, um, th- um, what is past is prologue, right? So you have to realize that there is going to be. Uh, I think um, this whole thing started with um, stand-up consoles in arcades, right? And then from there, it went to little hand. By the time you're done with this, what you're going to end up with is, I think... um, A kind of um, cable TV solution to playing video games. I really do think that's what's going to happen. I don't think that it's going to it's going to um, negate um, artistic. Stuff that's going to happen, I don't think it's going to dumb it down at all. Um, all I think is that eventually, we over the next 20 years, at least 20, I'm being really, really um, kind with the with that number. I think that what we're going to find is that you're going to be able to turn on your TV and point controller at it and play whatever game you like on ABC, CBS, NBC. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be exactly like, um, TV stations are now. I really do believe that's what's going to happen. That's a tricky one to put down. Um, Mostly because I think the modding community is going to be what's going to keep it alive on your system longer than another thing. Um, I don't think we're going to end up getting to the point where we're going to be able to to do that. within. I, I'm going to say within 20 years we're not going to be able to do that just because moving the data around to get mods out 
so that the the creators can go and do things with that. That's where we're going to be stalling it out for getting to that point. Okay. But as far as having basically like uh, unified systems, effectively, where you can go from one gaming system to the next to the next with the same uh, save files, regardless of who the um, producer of the console air quotes is, uh, I think that's going system. probably going to happen. Right. Around. Yeah, uh, I right. think I think system software is going to be. Um, opened up a lot more uh, and a lot quick, uh, a lot faster than uh, than that. But as far as being able to just go straight into to a live streaming service, the issue we're going to face with that is modding communities. Uh, well, we'll see. Specific, uh, it's interesting to that. think about it, though. I would modding never say that I was right and you were wrong. <laughs> <But> you will <clears throat> when that Because takes this is not <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> Ah, I think internet connections as well They're going to have to improve a lot Across the world to be able to sustain mm. that That's very yeah. true It's very true um, And the other thing that would prohibit that At some point is Just the way We have to fight for net neutrality so frequently uh, Yeah it's, it's not something we want to think about But like I'm so all developers are going to think about that. If, if I mean, people want to, really, I want to like. I'm not going to even say <laughs> that's, that's because I don't, I don't want to go to jail. We, so, we have to, we have to think just... about it. We we have to think about it because if it happens to over here, over there, and businesses see it working where they can throttle people's internet connections, what's to stop it happening over here? Nothing. It happens one place and it works yeah. for those businesses. It's going to start happening other places in wow. the high end of the world. I mean, obviously it works in, in, in second and third worlds um, to, to control the flow of information. We see that all the time. Um, North Korea is probably the biggest indicator of that one. China's pretty high up there, too. But uh, it's if it yeah. happens out here, one of two things is going to happen. Either one, it's just going to turn into single party dominance as far as like whatever whoever is the people in power is going to have total control effectively um right. or it's going to be horrendous violent riots in the streets <laughs> and i see the second one and happening. and then it's, they will still keep the control uh it, it, tear down the infrastructure and put up your own <laughs> that's that's the way i'm seeing it yeah. <laughs> well you know when i was a kid I had a CB radio, and I put a large antenna on the top of my house. <sighs> my call sign was Snoopy. <laughs> and, and 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 nobody cared. <laughs> nobody <laughs> talked to me. <laughs> I would talk to truckers. Hey, how you doing out there, big buddy? It was stupid, <laughs> but it did happen in my life in the seventies. Oh, oh, I'm kind of worried about James. He looks kind of like he's in a hole and doesn't really know where to go. I don't hear him. It's, it sounds a lot like his voice is not coming through on the microphone. <laughs> is he fucking with us? He is fucking with us. He's like, I'm... we're dropping frames, and I'm dealing with the technical issue. Oh, because we were talking about a uh, net neutrality, and now Comcast. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're Comcast. We're, we have oh, an unstable well, no connection, and we're dropping about a quarter of our frames. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're not even live right now. We are. I had to. Re oh, we are live. You have to. We are. You have to refresh the stream, but it's it's oh, yeah. it's very bad quality. So, uh, it's, oh my! Once again, it's not on my end because obviously I'm talking to you via Skype, and this is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I think somebody's throttling us to the server. Well, that sucks. How can we fix that in the future? Wait. Change servers. Press buttons and hope. Press buttons um, and hope. Uh, 
you can teach me how to do what the fuck you're doing and because my sir my stuff is really actually quite good oh it's it's kind of a press buttons and pray it's press buttons and pray kind of a situation here i can i can like tell you it's like some buttons not to press i i can it's it's like golf i can tell you the fundamentals but everybody's swing is different so what works um, for me necessarily won't work for you. Uh, yeah. Um, and a lot of I, times it's just it it depends on like how bad the server's getting hit on us. You know, it, this is this is eight forty five, and we're connected to the New York server, so that server uh, could just get overloaded, and then all of a sudden, now it, the bit rate's uh, fine, and we're good, and we're not dropping frames anymore. Uh, oh, so. Here's the here's the biggest thing I see happening if if um if uh net neutrality is turned down uh, and that is cyber attacks against the ISPs over and over and over again on a, a daily basis like on much harder of a daily basis than we think um cuz I mean DDoS it, attacks just all the DDoS attacks not not even DDoS like just blowing everything up over like just raw destruction <clears throat> Just raw destruction in a cyber format coming from all sorts of rerouted locations. And possible um, hardware hack attacks, too, coming in from... So basically uh, destruction of the internet as we know it. I mean, ter- I, more or less, if if it goes through, that's pretty much what we're looking at to begin with. So it wouldn't be... It wouldn't affect us as the consumers, but it would affect the businesses that are in control. It would make it far too much of a hassle for them to maintain that. It would just kind of become... It, the internet is already the Mad Max wasteland. It would just be... Imagine if all the raiders decided to band together and chase down the ISPs and their gigantic truck as they're holding the net neutrality women hostage. It, it's it's actually even darker than that. It's it's like they're digging down to the mines. They're on the surface level and they're digging down to the mines to unleash that horde of goblins and the Balrog that are sitting down there waiting for them. Because if they want to control the internet, they have to try and go through the deep web too. They have to go through the dark parts. They have to control everything True. if they want to do it. And they crack that little shell of the surface web and all that shit floods up beyond it. So, so what we're really saying to really bring it back to uh, to games here is that, um, in their decadence, their house has become too decadent. So they dug deep with the workmen to unleash the ethereal horrors, and then you must come back with your small group to retain, reclaim your estate, and take back what is rightfully yours, which is the net neutrality. We are exactly talking about. Uh... Net neutrality. Yes. Yeah. Darkest net neutrality oh. dungeon. <laughs> uh, I thought that was Mario. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dude, that's the deep cut of Mario. <laughs> your, your net neutrality is the wrong castle. Deep cut Mario. Mario! So that's the so news then. <laughs> so, shall we, shall we say what we've been playing? Sure. Oh my God! Can I? Can I go? Still I'll go plus. first. Yeah, we'll, we'll can go first so that we can so that if more tangents happen. <laughs> yes, please do. Yeah, we can go talk ahead for once. and talk for like, please talk for like seven minutes, so that I can go smoke a cigarette because I'm about to lose <laughs> my brain. Actually, my okay. brain is already lost. But you talk for seven minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, I will do. Um, I well, love you, Will. <laughs> that was a true kid. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what I've been playing, right. Um, again, not going to go harp on too much about the stuff I've been uh, streaming because you can go and see it. It's up on, on Twitch and some of it's been just archived on YouTube. Um, but I will say I did complete Dishonored 2. That's complete. That's done. And so I'm going to be moving on to Halo 5 on Sunday. And I've completed Gods Will Be Watching, James. You did. By the way, hi, I Jack. Did. Hi, Jack. But yeah, so um, 
it, it was a random random choice from Curtis that helped me get through bloody chapter six. You know, when you've got the, you, you're trying to look for the cure in, for the Medusa virus. Yep. And you, I watched you got, through that. Yeah. It was, it was the, just the random parts of it, of having to get that fourth passcode for it. That just made you go, how? Because I was looking at it going, okay, we've got, pass, we've got number one, we've got number two and number three. What's number four? And I was down to one last go. And, and I, I threw it open to the, uh, you know, to the chat and Curtis picked the right one. It's like, yes. And then there was that fight right at the end. We have to, and it was Curtis again that noticed it. It's like the arm, where the arm is, dictates what he's going to do. And so once we got that figured out, the rest of it was a breeze. And I was just so happy because that game is tough. It's interesting, though, isn't it? Yeah, I like the, the story behind it. And you have that choice right at the end. Did, what choice did you pick, by the way, out of interest, Jim? You'll have to see. I actually have that game recorded. I haven't uploaded any of the footage for it, though. Oh, you tease. You tease. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I picked the top out of two choices. Good, good, good question, Jack. Uh, there is a reason why, and if obviously you're new, so we will let you in on the, the inside joke, is, is that this stream is sponsored, not sponsored by Iron Brew. So much so where they have contacted us saying that they will not sponsor us. But we still... We still, we still, we still uh, pushed for it. We're, we still, we're, we still, we still uh, openly plug for Iron Brew. It's kind of a kind of a joke, but not really. But still, kind of, but not really. Um, this is this is the first time we've actually had the Iron Brew logo so blatant for the entire stream. But by the way, you're the first person who noticed it tonight, so thank you. I guess it's just become commonplace now for everybody else. It's oh, it's just just Iron Brew. Yes. Not, just Sorry. has an understanding that it's going to be there. It's just, it's just that little running joke now we've kind of ingrained into people to just... Because, you know, if they give one, they send us freebies of Iron Brew, we're not going to say no. You know? <laughs> so, but, so, right. Um, other bits I played, I played some Downwell at last. I had that on my PC for ages. And it's like a little 8-bit game where you're just going down a well and it's in state little stages and you know you're getting attacked by these things that try and float around and try and smack you senseless and you know you got you can get upgrades for things and yeah that, that's quite good at the moment i mean i couldn't stream it the other day because for some strange reason it wasn't allowing me to do full stream or full screen and so there's a bug that know about it but, so I played it off stream for a little bit. And then, yeah, it's, it's it's one of those games that you can spend about five ten minutes on, you know, if you don't want to play something really really in depth or long or get into. It's it's a, yeah, so yeah, so I'd recommend that damn well. But the other final thing I'll talk about is Battlegrounds. And hallelujah, hallelujah, chicken dinner, chicken dinner, I have a chicken dinner. Thanks to Ian Higdon from Platform 32, who actually won the game for us earlier. <laughs> Which I'm pleased about. I'm so happy I've got the chicken dinner. <laughs> it's like, yes. So, finally, the monkey's off my back. Now I've got to actually you know, get a chicken dinner on my own and make the winning blow. But that will happen eventually. And I've noticed they have actually done a change in the uh, update. Now, if you have a controller plugged into your PC, you actually see the controls come up. So you got a map. They're also developing a first-person only mode for that, too. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Oh, that's going to be that's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome playing that. Because I'm hoping the new maps come out soon as well. Aren't they, aren't they coming out this month? Maybe. Is that for a couple? Because I hopefully they are because that would be really cool because they have got a desert one with the push bikes that might be appearing. 
and I, I want I I want to do another squad of take Whippy on that again. You know, four of us, and then go up to Eurogamer and challenge them and go, we challenge you, Eurogamer, to some battlegrounds. Because, <laughs> you know, we, ha- we have, you know, Chris, who... He, he'd like I was going to say, it just ends up becoming... Out. It just becomes me and you shoutcasting Chris's, Chris's solo <laughs> play. That, that's, that's all it becomes. <laughs> Unless, of course, we have, we have Ed as well. Get Ed, drag Ed into there. And so it's like Ed and Ed and Chris, and then us two just shout casting. <laughs> and oh, he's taking Bradders right in the head. Remember, I'm on the team not because I'm not I'm not I'm on the team. To set the bar low so everyone else overachieves. <laughs> I just show up, <laughs> even though I did get a cool kill yesterday. Um, I was playing with like a couple of people who was also part of the Platform Thirty Two community, and we we were we were all prone. We had this jeep appear, and they went, "Lad, it's behind you. It's behind you." So I turn around, eventually see the jeep there, but I don't see the guy. And then I just catch a glimpse of him running away. So I, I do two shots, two blind shots. Second one took him out of a headshot. It's like yes. So I was happy with that one. But uh, yeah, apart from really a bit of dangerous golf and just destroying more shit, that's kind of all I've been playing offline. So. James, Ooh. what have you been playing, James? I've actually been playing things. I have uh, I have new games that I can talk about playing. Uh, I have gone back to an older game that is still a lot of fun. Uh, I streamed a little bit of it late night to test some settings out, uh, and I've kind of kept playing it ever since. Uh, Titanfall Two. Nice. I've been I've been playing Titanfall Two, which. It's still really solid of a game. Like the fact they have a new up, they they updated it recently. And gave out a free DLC. They added a third weapon slot that you hold triangle to. So now you can have a main weapon, a sidearm, and a titan anti titan weapon, or two sidearms or two anti titan weapons. So it really adds a whole nother level of complexity. And they added a new titan that upgrades as you get kills. So when you hit a core, it upgrades itself gives you full shields and then proceeds to go on to the next upgrade. You can change what upgrade cores do. So it, it, it adds a whole nother thing. Uh, it, it, apparently anybody, the only thing that anybody plays on PlayStation four is attrition. Like there's no other me- game, game type. That's the only one you can find games for, but you can find a lot of attrition games. So uh, I've been playing a, a decent amount of that. Um, besides from, Titanfall 2, which I would highly recommend people play. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. I went back to that too. I actually played a little bit uh, really? Wednesday night. Yeah. I figured with, with the update and everything, why not go back? Why not try it? It's been updated. Uh, apparently they should have fixed a bunch of the issues and I figured I'd give that game another fair shake. I've been kind of feeling like I've been playing a lot of MMOs lately. Thank you for following, Jack. Right when I right when I got shot, so it makes it makes the makes the makes the bullet wound feel a little bit better. <laughs> Eight out of ninety five, by the way. It was almost like you were celebrating. Going, I've only played um, that game, Andromeda, um, since it first came out, and it kind of broke my heart because it was kind of boring. <clears throat> Andromeda faces and. Asshole. <laughs> and uh <laughs> and that never even bothered me but um uh I liked um the second game and the third game and this one has sort of been very very fetch questy and and in in ways that I didn't find interesting so that's the I spent for 20 hours in it and I and I wouldn't say I would enjoy those 20 hours it wasn't because of the quests it didn't feel original to me it was more because of the characters because where I, I at that point I had unlocked all the characters and the their inter they felt 
like a group of pe- they felt like a group of people that like was trying to do this and as i've stated in past episodes and i won't go into much detail with it was where the past mass effects have always been your commander shepherd you're saving the universe you have kind of the moon slowly falling down and on day three shit's happening and you need to like save the universe before the moon crashes into the earth and the masked dude shakes his face and goes haha i won this has been kind of like a harkening back to the 50s in a sense. If we're looking at like sci-fi, most if you're looking at sci-fi nowadays, a lot of it's very dystopian, very kind of like the world is shit, shit has gone wrong. We we live in a shit world and it's our ability to survive in it. Where this is kind of harkened back to the 50s in a sense where it's it it's sci-fi where it's upbeat. They have a difficult situation but they're more about focusing on how we are going to overcome it and like, you know, exp- you do that through exploration and that kind of a thing. And there's still some the, the Mass Effect elements in it, but I kind of like was looking for something like that. So it struck a little bit of a chord. That sounds a little bit like um, Majora's Mask. Oh, I totally referenced Majora's Mask. Where the, you know, the moon is coming down and hurry up and you can restart this day again. And I'd rather slip my <gasps> throat. So <laughs> put all your money in the bank. I mean, <clears throat> for me, but, Andromeda is about the characters. It's not necessarily about the quests. The game, I think the, the fight, the shooting system is the best that they've had in any of one of their games. Uh, I'm glad they actually were able to do driving right. Because the, the the Mako is actually somewhat decent of a driving vehicle, the quests are very side que- fetch questy, especially the side quests. They feel very MMO ish. The main quests are very interesting, the ones that drive the story along, and the character development. They made a likable cast because I'm not Commander Shepard, and I'm here to tell you that this is the best place on the thing. Scott Ryder and Sarah Ryder feel like they have a, a personality. And they're not just like, I'm the hardened military commander, because they're not. They're explorers. That's what they're trained to do. Okay. So, I'm giving it a second shot. Uh, the faces don't look too horrible. They don't, as bad as they were. Like, they look like people. We look like we're talking with people. But there was that one, that one orange-haired gremlin that we saw, right, Chris? The hell was that? <laughs> I don't know. It was horrifying. It was terrible. It was bad. It was like, whoa. And I had the graphics turned up at that point, too. It just came out of nowhere. It was just like... (laughs) It was in the background for like... And said like one line of like text for like five seconds. And me and Chris were like, did they let Gollum in the game? (laughs) hell is that shit? Are you guys playing on PC? (laughs) Yeah, I'm playing on PC. Where's the shepherd's processes? He runs the (laughs) shepherd's. Um... I only have it on on uh, PS4. Maybe I should get it on PC. Actually, so long as the gremlin doesn't show up. Yeah. Fine. Well, once again, uh, PC being sixty frames a second all oh. the time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're capped at thirty great frames on your thing, but on I don't PC. care about that. I uh, I just really care about gameplay. So, um, it's it's. I mean, playing with Master Cube, I I still play with a controller. Because I feel like it. It's what kinda, controller are you playing with? I play with an Xbox controller because it's tied to my PC. Uh, it, it's. I need to get one of those because I, I have a, I have a Steam controller, which is like um, playing with one of your legs chopped off. I don't know. It's crap. It's not good. No, no not at all. Steam and great for video I games. Do have controllers. Have a PS4 controller. And it's sort of not so great. So I've been thinking that I need to get um, actually an Xbox controller. I bought the one you can you can get the the stock wireless Xbox controller. And uh, Chris, if his PC has Bluetooth in it, uh, you can connect. It does not. It does not. But if I have um, it does not have Bluetooth. But if I have a dongle. Then I can do that. Yeah, because you can, um, and let me do this. You can buy it with a dongle. Yeah, so that'll work. For this. I believe I bought mine for forty nine ninety nine on sale. Yeah, they're basically 50 bucks. Yeah, that's with the dongle. Yeah. So, 
cool. Yeah, because it'll work fine with a dongle. I mean, I even um, I in the Steam controller that I have, I put batteries in it, and I've been using the dongle, um, as well. They're for cool. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I need. <laughs> Specifically, I mean the the thing about the thing about <clears throat> um, having a, a PC is that. For a, a lot of games, if you want to play with a uh, controller, you really do need to have the Xbox controller because the uh, Windows 10 and even you know through Stream, Stream, Steam, and all of that, um, it's kind of the PC. It makes sense. Well, the PC is kind of um, a uh, uh, hyper Xbox, basically. Yeah. When the PC gets a controller in it, uh, and the Jello and the Pokemon. Fun fact about the Xbox. The reason why it's called an Xbox is because it was a gaming box that utilizes the Direct X systems and all of the X uh, plugins for the primary source of its interface. Learned that something was new. so sexy, Chris. I, I could have made it better, but <laughs> so sexy. People may hear by. I've never voice. heard anybody say anything so technical yet. So sexy. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I'm here for. <laughs> He's very sexy, so sexy. Very sexy. Make sure everything sounds so suave. So oh good. no, stop. Get your head up that microphone. <laughs> that, that, that's the that, indicator, is I need to caress the back of the, that, the mic. That's, that's where he went from uh, Chris Hergelman to Sean Daly. Once you get the grip, you know right when Sean Daly shows up. <laughs> But the do- but what about Doom Guy? <laughs> By the way, Doom that's guy. all I've been. That's all I've been playing. No, that's Dave Nova. Dave that's Nova. Been playing. Dave Nova. Nova. <laughs> you fucking Doom Guy doesn't talk. Dave Nova yeah. doesn't talk. So Keith, as you yeah. were the guest, what have you been playing this week? Um, actually, <clears throat> I have not been playing a whole lot of video games. Um, I have been trying to. <laughs> make myself sane by um watching netflix and i've been watching um all of haven i am not through with the entire show so if you know how it ends do not spoil it spoiler alert they die uh, I, I haven't watched it of so course I haven't watched so. it. everybody <laughs> dies all the time um I watched a little uh, bit of haven not much like maybe half of season one <clears throat> I did have um, the Humble Bundle, and so I got the Humble Bundle for last month and this month. Um, The thing about it with this month is that, um, I mean, mean, not this month, but you know uh, what they do in humble bundle is they they try to entice you to get the next month right oh, yeah with a bundaroo exactly yeah and next month's um what they're trying to get me to buy is a fucking pardon my French um a NBA game it's like NBA 2K17. Wow, if you get Humble Bundle for next month, then you can play this game right now. You and can I'm play like, the basketball. I ball. would not shit on that game to put it out if it was on fire and my turd would save it. Um, seriously. Um, that is a really, really, really specific kind of game that you might expect 
people to um, to buy. Uh, it, it, <clears throat> it's a sports game. Um, I, I, apparently, there are a lot of sports games players out there. I'm not one of them, and I am not going to buy the Humble Bundle in advance for this next, for like August or whatever. Because I'm like, uh, bleh, are you kidding me? Um, so, and the ones that I got for this month, I haven't um, really played a lot of them yet. Um, I'm looking at them right now on my, um, you know, PC desktop and I'm like oh I don't know but what I do know is that Humble Bundle is very worth the money I mean you pay 12 bucks and you get around about 150 to 200 dollars worth of free it's not free because you paid 12 bucks but um, games that you can download and or give to somebody else and play and, you know, and that's all cool. But, um, I haven't really been taken over by any of these games at all. Um, however, I will say that there is one game that I do enjoy playing and I think Part of that is because um, I'm I've been going through this sort of um, uh, time in my life where I'm like not really looking to shoot a bunch of people <laughs> or or play anything that that's particularly um, difficult. So the game that I've been playing the most is Plague incorporated evolved or plague Inc evolved, uh, which also was, um, a humble bundle game from like the month before or two months before. And, um, I really enjoy it, um, because you try to kill the entire planet and, uh, you try to give it various diseases and, uh, yeah, so it's really good because, um, I would like to kill everyone in the universe. What do you name your no. diseases? No, stop, James. I saw that your eyes bugged out as soon as I said that. <laughs> I wonder what you name because I played it too. Uh, what do you normally name your diseases? I name them all kinds of things. Um, <clears throat> um, I try to make the names of the diseases humorous. Like you should. Um, sort of like poo-poo or... <laughs> so like seven-year-old jokes, got it? Yeah. Poo-poo is not a seven-year-old joke. That's just um, a, a two-year-old who has to go to the bathroom and goes, ew, poo-poo. So... Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much my whole story for right now. Fair enough, no worries. Um, Chris, what have you been playing, matey? Uh, I, I have been a miserable wretch of a human being. Um, I have uh, opened up Dark Souls once more uh, because I, as, as, as uh, our fine friend Keith here also... Uh, received. I got Dark Souls 2, and I haven't played through Dark Souls 2 yet, and um, I've despised Dark Souls 1. Uh, it is pain, and not not good. It ain't, it ain't good. Um, but that being said, I need to truly hate the entire series in its entirety and go through the <laughs> next game as well. Despise that. It's probably going to be just as bad. And then, uh, if we can yeah, get the... Like yeah, uh, if we can get the dollars uh, run up for it, I'm going to get the third game and then uh, cringe my way through that as well. Um, 
and follow that up with Bloodborne for the same type of goal if we can get the dollars for it. Uh, Bloodborne's deleted. PlayStation only though, right? I yes. <laughs> like I said, if we can get the money for it. Uh, I will buy a PlayStation and Bloodborne and Capture Card and stream that. So it's just a harder goal. That's all it is. <laughs> uh, but in that case, uh, it's I kill me. <laughs> Bloodborne. <laughs> I I actually did get Bloodborne and kind of liked it. Um, I've only ever gotten through the first ten minutes of it. <laughs> Because I continually die over and over and over. And you know what? That's the point of all of those sort of games, <clears throat> which is fine. But um, it certainly isn't worth buying a system to play. <laughs> no. If you're going <laughs> to buy a PS4, you should buy it to also get a PSVR. Really, that's it. Um, that's probably what I'm going to do. Yeah, because my PSVR, I freaking love it. I love it. But I bought those systems years apart. Um, so to to purchase um, a PlayStation and a PSVR all at the same time, if you have... Um, <clears throat> Pardon me. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like I just ate a White Castle. Um, if you have a PC that can run VR, then don't buy a PS, a, a PlayStation. Because you can just buy a different um, system for VR that you can just use with the uh, PC that you have. Yeah, yeah, because the downside to that is with with VR on PC, you need the room for it because you need to set up different bits around your room for VR. Well, it depends. Whereas it depends on which system you buy, and they cost you. You're looking at the moment. You're looking. They cost a lot more than PSVR. Even if you buy a PlayStation Pro, let's say you buy a PlayStation Pro and a PSVR, hmm. you're spending about a thousand dollars. But Which if is about the you same are, as a vibe. you are. But if you already own the PC, how much is the uh, the VR attachment? The cheapest quantity? VR um, that is supported by Steam games is the. Um, I believe it's Open VR, which is a three hundred dollars system. Mm, go up one from that. Don't get that one. Uh, then you're looking at the Oculus, which is eight hundred. Well, it's still going to be. Um, here's the other problem. The prob The other problem is that you're you're sort of counting on Sony to continue to um to go down the route of to support yeah. to yeah. support Just like they did they were going to do with 3 3D TVs remember those Anybody? right right uh, granted, so I should I should stay out of this conversation cuz I'm not looking a... at Sony to support your you know uh, <sighs> I think it, I don't know. I don't, I don't really trust them anymore. I mean, I have the PSVR um, for my PS4, and I really love what I do with it, but if I had to do it all over again, I would probably not buy it because I don't really trust Sony to um, actually support it as you know a peripheral yeah because they, they haven't been great with their marketing own you know supporting things have they let me look at the vr look at the vr 
Mm. And it, they are still releasing games for it. It just doesn't feel like they are. When was the last time you saw a game that was meant for VR come out and people be like, oh, the PlayStation VR this? Exactly. That'd be awesome. Blah, blah. Um, is, is, um, are we all together again? Why do I feel like, um, there was a call dropped? No, we're still all no, we're still, we're still... Okay. 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 I stayed out what of the VR conversation because I am, here. I am, I am anti VR. So by not speaking during the VR conversation, I wanted people who actually had it to speak of it. Um, I just think it's a load of shit and a gimmick. I really, I, I really, think it is really the love per se. my PSVR. I really love it, but I would not suggest that somebody who does not own a PlayStation go and buy a PlayStation and a PSVR together. If you are, if you already have a, a PC that can run VR, then choose a different um, VR system for yourself and do that. And this is going to sound like a joke, but uh, it, it is the truth. If you have a place, if you have a PC that can run VR, get VR for it. Number one, it's going to have more supported games. It's going to have more independent games that will have become supported for it. And yeah. number, number two, and this is going to sound really bad, but media, you're going to be able to watch media on it a lot better. It's there's any VR movies or VR things that come out. VR porn. Really, really. I mean, I'm not trying to well, say, it, but like porn usually drives the media market. <laughs> you look at the whole reason why Blu-rays, Blu-rays won over HD DVD is because porn backed the Blu-ray. Yep. No, no, same, no. Same with VHS. No, and VMAX. no, VHS yep. and and exactly. Yep. Thank you, William. Um, VHS was supported by by the porn industry, and that is why we don't have Betamax. Well, Blu-ray Same player, with Blu-ray, Blu-ray, Same with Blu-ray, Blu-ray of HD DVD, yeah, yeah, porn back. Same thing. Yeah, so completely. Everyone, if you're gonna, if you, if follow you're in, follow the tits. Yeah, follow if, the tits. Yeah. <laughs> follow the tits. It's and it's you know it's, it's the dry and it's true. Really, if you have a computer, it's one of the things you're doing. Let's let's be honest here, people. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> let's let's be honest here. So. Sean Daly knows. Sean Daly knows. He's like Sand. No, no. Sean. Dave Nova knows. Dave. Well, Dave Nova. No, Dave Nova's. Dave Nova's a different type of guy. Let's be. Dave Nova's a little different. <laughs> Dave Nova's. Sean little different. Daly knows. Yeah, Sean Daly knows. But needless to say, it's that's where you're gonna make get the most use out of it is on your PC. And it's not a. It's not meant to be crude or crass. It's just the truth. No, not it, at all. That. that I mean, that's, I mean, it's just, you know, the way, um, the market works. So. Yep. So is that all you've been playing, Chris? Uh, no, I've been playing a little bit of Darkest Dungeon, um, which is a great topical thing to, to be discussing here before. Um, uh, uh, wait, I, I'm sorry. You don't understand. I am... Um, taking notes for people telling me things um, like you, because I'm a new I, I'm a new PC guy. So if you're playing something on PC, um, say it again so that I can write it down and play uh, it as darkest well. Darkest dungeon. Darkest dungeon. Darkest dungeon. Thank you. Yep. I have also played it recently too. Ten out of ten. Um, it's a, it's a tough, it's a grim darky, um, uh, roguelike? almost not really JRPG, JRPG. Roguelike with, uh, stress and roguelike. health management. Let's put it this way. Your characters can get syphilis and you either have to heal them or release them. Ooh. Do you get to watch them get syphilis? By getting barked on by disgusting pigs as you try to clear a dungeon. Ah. Yeah, it's it's not as uh, it's not as glorious as you know. Ho- hoony poop. Yeah. <laughs> hoony poop. <laughs> hoony poop. <laughs> um, which by the way is, I gotta say, those games surprisingly good, really good. 
The Honey Games, really well made. <laughs> if you're looking for a good a good game with solid gameplay, if you like uh, match four, a little bit of eye candy. And the pretty peep. If it's something real late at night where you don't want to be running around like dealing with a whole bunch of shit. If you're you know, tired of people asking you on Candy Crush to give you respawns because they can't reach the next level, play Honey Pop. Oh God. <laughs> How is that even though? Um, hey, I, I I will admit I've I I purchased the game while it was on sale, and I have acquisitioned all different forms of it because. I, I have no shame, and I will play pretty much anything if anyone even remotely tells me to. NSFW. Um, Port Hub Street. NSFW. <laughs> God the fucking damn it, this Black Knight! It's... <clears throat> I'm farming souls right now, because I just want to... I just want to equip the fucking weapon. Dark Souls. Um, oh my and, god. Uh, Dick Dick this fucking Black Knight followed me all the way to the bonfire from the cathedral. And he's just slowly backing up. He's like, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. You're at the campfire? All right. All right. I'm going back. No, don't worry. I'm going back. It's fine. It's all right. Okay. I'm going back. I'm going back. Get the fuck back here. Just leave me alone. I just want to kill things. I no, just want I to see. kill things that aren't you. I see. You say the Black Knight, and I immediately think, what? <laughs> Sorry, flesh wound. Get over here. I'll butt your arm off. I gotta kill this fucking I'm... demon statue at some point. That's the stress of Dark Souls is that there's stupid things you need to do. Just all over. And that okay, well, there. kids, you know, uh, we've been going for some time now. Yeah. <laughs> and um, <laughs> um, my husband's hungry. And we have to call for um, um, Irish food. Because um, in my strange, <laughs> oh, that's really easy. You just get a potato and a six pack. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but you were totally I'm... correct, and I am not angry. <laughs> that was not racist. It was racist. That was not racist at all. <laughs> it's not racist if it's true. It's not racist if I've done it. <laughs> potato is. God, I love being on these shows with you guys. And I am so happy to have been here today because this was like a really fun, wacko show. It's pretty much what And it is. you guys keep going on, but I got to go. Go get food. Because my gay husband and I, well, we need to eat. Um, actual food. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I never knew you were a homosexual. This sounds like the beginning of a bad if joke. If I knew you were a homosexual, I would never have had you on this show. See, see, this sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. So two homosexuals get an Irish dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Right? That is awesome. And as soon <laughs> There's something about brown gravy in there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it's on Urban Dictionary. Look it up. I no. guess. Just that, that's a thing. No, it's not actually. No, now it's rule thirty. <laughs> it's the internet. I, I have said it on the internet, so it now exists. <laughs> and there is fan art of it. And then there <laughs> is fan art of it, gender switched. <laughs> that's weird. Will. Yes. It's James. It's not. It's the rules of the internet. I love you, kids. Bye, kids. Bye. 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 And, uh, and uh, have fun, and I'm going to watch the whole thing later when y'all is done. Well, but this will be vodcasted later, so don't worry. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. Oh. <sighs> Love you. Bye. Love you <laughs> oh no. That was pretty much all do, I do, do you need me to way. disconnect no, you, Keith? I didn't, I didn't hang up. No, I'll do it now. <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh bye. 
Oh, shit. It's like your grandma <laughs> trying to hang up the phone. How do I what hang this thing crap. up? Is this oh, the iPhone? Crap. Bastards. Okay, bye. <laughs> Keith Dunn Fernandez, everybody. <laughs> just, there you go. Just going to close that there and just, just take take that, move it over there, make it larger. Fix everything. Fix. It's, it's, it's a simple fix. Now it's, now, okay, now it's a little bit messier. But I, now I pl- it's broken forever. No, it's not. Because I, I planned <laughs> for this. I planned, guys. Uh-huh. Ah. Ah, uh, yes, I see now. <laughs> oh my god black knight go away jesus christ so i'll kill you on Chris. stream i just want to kill other things so i can farm farm souls i'm pretty sure like will's just like guys can we wrap it up too it's like two in the morning <laughs> it's like 20 <laughs> 25 to free i got shit to do <laughs> me and chris are like no will come on we're, we're not even on the third tangent yet I know. <laughs> We're gonna get to the first dungeon. But anyway, Chris, what, is that what you've been playing? Uh, I played a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a. Uh, here's the storm. Here's the storm. That's what we're playing. Mm-hmm. Definitely not fucking dealing. Black Knight is just stalking my ass. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, just been playing casual things. A little bit of GTA, just driving around the circuits, enjoying it. And uh. uh Gaming. So That's fucking it. help me, God, Black Knight. <laughs> and will you be streaming this uh, Dark Souls after we finished? Probably. If he doesn't stream Dark Souls, I'll stream Mass Effect. Oh, oh, we should see that. So that's what we'll be playing. Let, let's do shout outs and then we can find out where we are and then we can all go and do more streams and bugger off to sleep and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have two shout outs. One is for the patron saint of Tig Whippy. Kim. Kim. We need to commission a piece of artwork of like Kim as like one of those glass stained glass windows. That we do. Yeah. We do. She yeah. she's donated enough that I'm pretty sure we can use some of that money to make commission that paint. We could probably use let's put it this way. She has funded this show entirely. Pretty much. Handed. Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, so we don't give a little but back. If, but if you guys have Twitch Prime and would like to subscribe to the show, we're not stopping you. That's the, free. The, it's free, and the button's right there. Yeah. It's a thing. We're, we're, we're happy to have you. We may also okay. add you to the Pantheon. I guess, it, is that what we're calling it now? The Pantheon? Yeah, the Pantheon. Yeah. Named it. Episode, season two, episode three. Named it. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, and also the other um, shout out I want to give is to Ian Higdon of Platform Thirty Two, who is the one I, I tried to play alongside with Battlegrounds on a Friday or Monday evening over here, and he was the one who got the chicken dinner earlier on Battlegrounds. So I have to give a shout out to him and say thank you for getting me my first chicken dinner. Do you guys have any shout outs? Uh, I would like to shout out uh, Kimmy. Not my, not the patron saint Kimmy, but Kimmy of the Instagram, who always does wonderful work, uh, and commissioned that lovely uh, picture to be drawn, which is freaking awesome. I know, I, I, I still can't get over it and how well it's done. And by the way, I will get it from him, but we actually have the the Instagram of the gentleman who drew it, as well as his DeviantArt page. So uh, if if you too want slash fiction drawn. We, we will we will get you that information. We have that B-roll. Uh, I I might have to commission more artwork from him in the future because, well, you saw. Look at it. Exactly, it's awesome. <laughs> As I said to Kimmy, and I will I will send and I will send that picture to Keith later, because Keith I know, and you know, so just you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to help. <laughs> Some special time. <laughs> so, well, and as I, I have thinking, broken will, does that do, Chris? Do you have any uh, shout-outs? Um. Well, you know, 
you know, I'd say there's 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 a few names I've got bouncing around in my head. Uh, can I can we get a little special thanks to to, to Regis Castus, who uh, so graciously joins me frequently on stream and occasionally here with us on Tig Whippies. When he does his side uh, of stream, fantastic we'll do guy. It. Um, and also for uh, for the fine folks over at uh, the channel of Kura Makaya, who helps feed my addiction to video games by uh, covering subscription costs for things once in a while. Thank you. Thank you for fueling my my game addictions and helping me uh, battle crippling depression. <laughs> I will I will also give one last shout out before we leave to our not sponsor Iron Brew, who makes lovely beverages and to Jacket Dude who's who decided to follow today. Thank you. Cause I uh I having have added something here we can actually do this if we do in the chat this works it should it's a command if not i have to pull up the commands again uh ah yeah no it's recent so if you type rec xmr recent followers we can see who the recent followers are i also I just... want to give a quick uh of a shout out to uh other streamers as well mike because we haven't done that in a while. We haven't done said uh, Tom, Geo, Gina, yeah, you know, and everybody else who's, who's streaming for us. If you swing by my channel on the tags down below, you can actually find a list of our people uh, under the friends category. Uh, I'm going to actually just link it in the chat so you guys can find it quickly, easily, and that's. Uh, I need to put Tom on there. Tom is still the one that's missing. Um, but we have a whole bundle of people to check out and a tall list of friends that you can check out. All fantastic streamers. They're All streaming at various times during the day. Um, so pretty much there's always something for you guys to check out, even if we're not going right now. Yeah, really. Yeah. We're, we're almost 24-7 now. There should be one of us on. So I think that being said, Will has to sleep. I have to use the bathroom. Chris has to stream. This is the perfect time to end it. Good night, everybody. No, no fancy remarks tonight. Just, just good night. Have a good night. It was Bye -bye. fun. Good night, everyone. Uh,